Hi, I'm Becca. This video is to help you with the process of registration for your next year of school. With the help of this information, you and your parents will have to design a plan that will help fit your future goals. Please listen for the next few minutes as I outline the process of registration for you. We will begin by discussing some graduation requirements for high school, then move on to post-high school planning, and also talk about some options you have while still in high school. We also talk about what the course planning worksheet is and how to fill out your final registration form. We are now ready to move forward. The best tool for you to use during registration is your Program of Studies Handbook. Please keep this because you may want to reference it for a later date. Students are required to take 18 courses per year. Each course will count as one trimester credit. For the class of 2013, by the end of 12th grade, a student is required to have 65 credits in order to earn a high school diploma. You must take 12 credits of English, 9 credits of Social Studies, 1 credit of Economics. You must also take 8 credits of Math, 9 credits of Science, 1 credit of General Physical Ed, 1 credit of Health, and 2 credits of Fine Arts. For the classes of 2014, 2015, and 2016, by the end of 12th grade, a student is required to have 66 credits. Students in these graduating classes must take 12 credits of English, 9 credits of Social Studies, and one credit of economics. You must also take nine credits of math, nine credits of science, one credit of general physical ed, one credit of health, and two credits of fine arts. Please refer to the program of studies for the courses that meet the fine art requirements. For all graduating classes, the math requirements must include algebra, geometry, and algebra two. You will find more specific information in the math section of the program of studies. For the students in the class of 2015 and beyond, all students must have three years of science, which must include one year of biology, one year of chemistry or physics, and one additional year of science. Choose your electives seriously as they may help define your future goals. And make sure to check in your Program of Studies handbook to make sure that your elective courses meet the requirements. All classes are required to pass the MCA2 tests in writing, reading, and math. A student must score a minimum of 3 on the writing, a minimum of 1050 on the reading, and a minimum of 1150 on the math in order to earn their high school diploma. There are some special options and programs available to students. The Advanced Placement Program, post-secondary enrollment options, Northeast Metro Technical College, College in the School, AVID Program, International Baccalaureate, Project Lead the Way, August Academy, Extended Year, Zero Hour, College Level Examination Proficiency, Mentor Connection, Business Internship Program, Independent Study pro Projects, and testing out of a course. More information on these options is available in your Program of Studies Handbook. Honors, Advanced Placement, International Baccalaureate, and Project Lead the Way are available in your courses of English, Math, Social Studies, Art, and Science. Some benefits of taking these courses would be to challenge yourself and your abilities, to teach you skills that can lead to success in college, and to possibly obtain college credit. Some characteristics of a student well suited for these courses include works independently, creative, responds positively to challenging situations, likes to analyze, shows a high degree of interest and motivation, and shows above average ability in oral and written expression. These courses are available to all students. If you are unsure whether or not you should register for them, talk to your teacher in that area of study or ask your guidance counselor. For those of you who are interested in earning college credit while still here in high school, please consider the Post-Secondary Enrollment Option, or PSEO for short. This program is open to all Minnesota high school juniors and seniors. This program allows students to enroll in Minnesota colleges with tuition, fees, and books paid for by the state. Students who complete a PSEO course earn credit toward high school graduation. These credits may also be accepted at the college you attend after high school. If you are interested in the PSEO program, please sign up for 18 courses on your registration form and please see your counselor for more details.
Northeast Metro Technical College, called 916 for short, offers courses to juniors and seniors who are interested in careers in business, health, public services, and technology. These courses are offered on campus at Northeast Metro Technical College, and our school provides transportation to the college. Students interested in the 916 program must fill out a separate application form. Applications and a brochure of program choices are available from the Counseling and Career Center. Hand in your completed application with your registration form. It will be important for you to further your education. This could be college, technical college, apprenticeship, or the military. Know as much about yourself as possible before planning a career. Learn about your interests, ability, work habits, values, goals, and needs. Research your career interests using some of the helpful websites listed in the program of studies or in your school's career counseling and career website. Select your high school courses carefully according to your future plans. Leave your options open in case you later change your mind. Your counselor can help you decide which options are best suited to your needs, interests and abilities, and what opportunities are available to further your education or employment. Remember that they can give you information, but you, along with the aid of your parents, are responsible for your future plans. If you are considering a four-year college after high school, please take into consideration your high school course selections. Let's look at an example for high school course recommendations. Colleges would like you to complete the following minimum admission requirements in grades 9 through 12. Four years of English, three years of math, which includes Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2, three years of Science, three years of Social Studies, two to three years of a single world language, and one year of Fine Arts. Please keep in mind that these are minimum requirements. If you have a specific college in mind, please inquire with that college for specific high school requirements. The next step in the registration process is for you to think about the kind of classes you'd like to take next year. To make this easier for you, there is a course planning worksheet in your handbook. You will be required to register for 18 courses, plus choose three alternate elective courses. Required courses in English and Social Studies are already listed. Health you can choose to take in grades 11 or 12. General Physical Education is recommended to be taken in grades 9 or 10. And Fine Arts requirements can be taken in any grade, 9 through 12. Check with your individual school's deadlines and registration instructions for when your course planning worksheet is due. Besides choosing 18 courses for registration, you must also choose three alternate elective courses. These courses are only used in case a one trimester elective course that you originally wanted is not offered or when you cannot have a course due to a conflict with another course that you have chosen. You should choose wisely and not just list anything. Many times these alternate courses are used. You can list your three courses on your worksheet so that they are able to be transferred when you are registering. Please keep in mind that some courses require a prerequisite. You can look in the table of contents in your Program of Studies handbook when looking for courses. The prerequisite is either a grade level or a course that must be completed before taking the next course. An example would be taking Ceramics A before taking Ceramics B. If a class does not have a prerequisite listed, it is open to all. Students are often encouraged to read the descriptions of the courses before signing up for them. Oftentimes, word of mouth from other students can be misleading. If you have questions about prerequisites, please talk to your counselor or look in your Program of Studies handbook. Your registration form will be handed to you based on your school's registration deadlines. Transfer your information from your course planning worksheet to your registration form. Then write in your three alternate elective choices on your registration form. Include the course name and number. Recount your main courses to make sure that you have a total of 18 courses. You may be wondering why we register so early. First of all, we must define our programs, including curriculum, 
building use, and supplies based on the choices students make. What you sign up for now will determine how many rooms are needed for certain classes and how many supplies will be ordered. Second, by state law, public schools must make staffing decisions by the spring. Your choices significantly determine the number of staff for next fall. Finally, the courses you choose give us valuable input. How you register impacts what courses will be offered. It is because of these reasons that schedule changes at a later date will not be allowed. Put thought into your future plans and the courses that you will choose. If you have any questions about specific courses, consult the course description in your Program of Studies handbook. If you have more detailed questions, ask a teacher that teaches in that subject area or a counselor in the Counseling and Career Center. Regardless of which high school you go to, you have great options here in District 833.